it was asked and here it is. Today I have for you 5 tutorials on Ronaldo El Fenomeno's best skills so that you too can reproduce them in a match. So if you're interested, I'll see you after the intro. <laughs> To begin with, make sure the ball is on the side of your strong foot or the foot you are going to use to make the skill. If it's not, put it there with a touch as I did in this tutorial. But in a real game, the idea is that the ball would be on this side naturally. Then make a drag back to bring the ball back to you. Pay attention to the supporting foot, which is right next to the ball when you do this step. The standing foot will allow you to keep your balance but also protect the ball in case the defender tries to take it from you. Also, observe the upper part of my body which is leaning backwards, which is ideal to decelerate but also to re-accelerate in the other direction. And finally, to complete the skill, push the ball with the inside of your foot behind your supporting leg to go to the other side and eliminate your opponent. By the way, remember to push the ball according to your next move. So if you want to keep dribbling, keep it close to you. Or if you want to run with the ball for example, push it a little further. All this gives that. To make this skill, you can be both in motion or standing still. It's your choice, but know that standing still, it's much easier to do. Then, once you are ready, push the ball with the inside of your foot forward and slightly to the side to prepare for the next touch. Ideally, you want the ball to stay very close to you. Then, go on with an outside touch that would be used to feign the defender. So do it as quickly as possible while using the outside toe of your foot. And finally, finish this combo with an inside touch to go on the other side and eliminate the defender. All this gives that. To start, you have to push the ball to the side of your strong foot to prepare for the skill. Then you have to push the ball with your sole towards the support side. Chain directly with a step over using the same foot to be able to position yourself for the next step. This step over is not made to feign the defender, so no need to accentuate it. And finally, get the ball back with an inside cut made with your weak foot. Make sure to do a body feint at the same time to further deceive the defender. Together, it should be like this.
To start, make sure you're on the move because this skill plays on the momentum of your run. Once this is the case, push the ball with the outside of the foot on the side and forward. To do this correctly, you have to make sure you bring the ball with you rather than hitting it. It's very important. Also, at the same time, jump slightly. Then, to finish the skill, take the ball back with the inside toe of your foot to push it to the side and forward. Remember to push the ball far enough away from your body to be able to accelerate away. Together, it gives that. For the first step, you should make sure that the ball is moving to allow you to give you momentum when you will go to the side. The second step is to do a step over with your strong foot. Make sure to go around and not over the ball. Same thing that you did for the second step, but this time with your weak foot. Once again, go around and not over the ball. For the fourth step, you do a step over again, but this time using your strong foot. Make sure for this one to emphasize the feint by dropping your shoulder as you're doing it. It will fake the defender even more doing this. The fifth and last step is an outside cut done forward with your weak foot to eliminate completely the defender, but also to go forward. Together, it gives you this. <laughs> 